In this video, I'm going to be ranking every single new edition card from worst all the way to best in NBA 2K23. My team, including these 20 cards, the five Dark Matters, the five Galaxy Opals, the five Pink Diamonds, and then the five Diamonds, also including those four new locking cards, the Dark Matter Dikembe, Dark Matter Terry Dishinger, the Galaxy Opal Eddie Jones, and the Galaxy Opal Jerry West, ranking all of the new edition cards from worst all the way to best. So at my number 24 spot, the card that I do think is the worst from the new edition promo is the Galaxy Opal Danny Granger. I just personally hate this card jump shot like he might be a little bit better than my next card at number 23 but the drew holiday base is so hard to time especially with this mikhail bridges upper he just doesn't have really great sigs all around his stats aren't that great for a galaxy opal and i just personally hate this card i mean tj warren you could probably say is a little bit worse than but i'm putting tj warren over danny granger just because i like the card's jump shot even though it's not that great of a release i like it more than danny granger's and his sigs are also about the same maybe even a little bit better and their stats and badges really aren't that far you know really aren't that big of a difference between Danny, Gr uh, Danny Granger and TJ Warren. But yeah, I think Danny Granger number 24 and TJ Warren number 23 at the number 22 spot is going to be another kind of iffy small forward with kind of a bad jump shot. And that is going to be Diamond Jonathan Kaminga. He's a small forward power forward six foot eight with a seven foot one wingspan. He is going to give you really good defense having an 88 block, 90 steel, 90 lateral quickness, 90 perimeter and 89 interior defense. So he's going to be a great defender. And he's going to be really good at slashing to the rim with a 95 driving dog, 95 vertical, has the Hall of Fame fast switch, limitless takeoff, and posterizer. But the jump shot just isn't great, in my opinion. Now, overall, I do think Jonathan Kaminga is going to be the 22nd best new addition card. At the number 21 spot is going to be the Galaxy Bull Dennis Rodman. He's going to be a better small forward than the past three guys, just because at least he provides something really elite on the court, which is going to be his defense. All three of these, you know, Jonathan Kaminga, TJ Warren, Danny Granger, are all just very mid all around. And yes, Dennis Rodman it doesn't have a great jump shot either but at least he's going to give you that lockdown defense 98 block 97 steel 97 lateral quickness 97 a 95 perimeter and a 97 interior defense so i like the fact that at least Rodman is going to give me some uh, uh, give me some very good defense on the court and then also does have like clamp breaker quick first step a 93 speed with ball i mean this card's really not that bad besides his jump shot being super hard to time but all around i think that is Rodman, the 21st best uh, new addition card at the number 20 spot is going to be Jonas valanciunas a kind of mid card but i feel like just all around there's not too many great budget centers in the game or budget power forward so he can stretch the floor out has a pretty good jump shot play solid defense in game i just think all around as a card he's a little bit better than rodman at my number 19 spot is going to be the new pink diamond oj mayo he's basically just a better galaxy but jr smith or they're very similar i'm not exactly sure what their stats look like but he's got the same jump shot as jr smith so he's basically just a galaxy but jr card not that bad at the shooting guard position just a little bit undersized at the number 18 spot is going to be the diamond jd mcdaniels a very good six foot nine small forward with a seven foot wingspan i mean the card does have the curry slide which is crazy and the curry slide is crazy on your six foot nine small forward his jump shot i wish was a lot better it's really not a great jump shot in my opinion but all around going to give you good defense and does have the, uh, does have the curry slide and the curry escape uh, for a six foot nine small forward at the number 17 spot is going to be diamond tristan thompson i think he's actually a very solid diamond card he's a center power forward six foot ten with a seven foot one wingspan this card is just a better Jonas Valanciunas, in my opinion. He's got good speed, athleticism. He can finish out the rim pretty nicely. 90 driving dunk, 95 vertical. He's a great rebounder and plays solid defense in game. And his jump shot's not that bad. Like, it's on very quick timing. He's got the rust size up, which is actually really good. And the MJ dribble style. I mean, this card's not that bad for a diamond. I would say overall, a pretty solid new addition card. At the number 16 spot, I wasn't exactly sure how to rank this card because it is going to be Diamond Bobon, who is seven foot four with a seven foot eight wingspan. So he's going to be super glitchy in that fact, but he only has 25 speed and 25 acceleration, even slower than Amethyst Taco Fall when he got released around Christmas time. So yes, he does have a three ball, a 73 ball, 78 mid range. I just don't know how high I can put a card that only has 25 speed and 25 acceleration, but he's still going to be a super good basher, a very good defender and overall a super cheesy card. I just don't know if I can put him over a card like Darren Fox, who yes, I mean, Bobon's the more cheesy card than Fox and he might be better at what he does like mashing and playing defense. But can you put a 25 speed Bobon over Darren Fox? I just personally don't think so. So I'm at number 15 spot. I do have the Galaxy Simple Fox card. He's a solid point guard. He's six foot three with a six foot eight wingspan. He can slash at the basket, play some solid defense. I'm not the biggest fan of his release, but it's not bad. And I just think overall, he's probably the 15th best new, uh, 15th best new edition card at the number 14 spot. 
I actually think Marcus Smart is a better point guard than Fox because of the defense he provides. He's got a 98 steal, 97 perimeter, uh, 97 lateral quickness, 95 interior defense, 88 block. He can actually drive to the rim pretty good. 95 driving dunk, 95 vertical. He's got Hall of Fame bully, Hall of Fame posterizer. And I actually like his jump shot on very quick more than I like De'Aaron Fox's jump shot on uh, on quick timing. And his sigs are just as good. I mean, Fox's size up, uh, or, or the Demich size up is better than the Fox size up, but the Kobe escape on De'Aaron Fox is a little bit better so he does have maybe a tad bit better sigs but very similar i just think that marcus smart plays better defense and i personally do like his jump shot more but at the number 13 spot is going to be our first locking card we're going to talk about and that is going to be the galaxy but jerry west he definitely is the worst locking from today between the Andy Jones, Dikembe, and Terry Dishinger, but I feel like he's not that bad of a point guard. He's six foot two with a six foot nine wingspan. He's going to be an opal card, so really good all around stats. His defense on the perimeter is really nice. He's also got an 88 interior defense, 80 block. He's got some amazing Hall of Fame shooting badges like Limitless Range, Dead Eye, Blinders, Amped, Catch and Shoot, or uh, Agent Three. He does have Gold Catch and Shoot, which is nice. And then he's also got like a 98 ball handle, 96 speed with ball. They gave him some really good sigs. He's got the Garland size up, one of my favorite size ups in the game. He's got the Trey Young escape i mean just all around he has really good animations and yes he's a short point guard so i don't think he's going to be that amazing in game but i do think overall is probably number 13 at the number 12 spot is going to be rj barrett i just think at his position is probably a little bit better than jerry west he's going to have you know more size compared to jerry west he does also have a good jump shot if you wanted to put west over rj barrett i think that's a fair comparison like you could 1000 percent put jerry west over rj I think I'm gonna stick with um, I think I'm gonna stick with RJ though. I think he's a super underrated shooting guard spot uh, shooting guard card in my team right now. At number 11 is gonna be Claxon. I think Claxon is another really underrated big man in the game. Like he's an amazing center. He's six foot eleven with a seven foot two wingspan, and this card's gonna be an exceptionally good defender. 98 block, 95 interior defense, 94 steal, 88 perimeter, and does have some really good Hall of Fame and gold defensive badges. He can finish around the rim pretty nicely. 95 driving dunk, 90 standing dunk, and his jump shot really isn't that bad it's not my favorite release in the game but it's not that bad of a jump shot for your defensive center and then at my number 10 spot is going to be galaxy but ben wallace i think he's super underrated once again at the power four position he just goes for so much mt that he's not really worth picking up to actually use like just to use him on your team he's worth it for for the lock and maybe but I wouldn't say you should pay 250,000 mt just to use ben wallace he is a really good power forward though He's such a good defender. He's basically just a better Dennis Rodman with a better jump shot and some better sigs. Like he's also got the Steve Francis size up. His sigs are really good. He's got the front clutches. His jump shot's actually pretty good. Obviously, defense is amazing. And then he does have super, uh, super, uh, super good athletic stats with like a 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 97 strength, and 95 vertical. So I'd say overall, he is probably uh, the 10th best new addition card in my opinion. At the number nine spot, this is where we start getting to some very good cards. Starting it off here at the number nine spot with the galaxy Super Bowl gordon hayward i think he's a really good shooting guard he's six foot eight only does have a six foot seven wingspan but six foot eight at the two spot with his player model is going to be really good and then all around his stats are solid he's got tons of good hall of fame shooting badges like agent agent three blinders catch and shoot corner specialist dead eye limitless range he can handle the ball pretty nicely with hall of fame clamp breaker quick first step and jump shot is pretty solid i mean if you guys use his pink diamond back when he first released from the trophy case set he has a really good jump shot in my opinion and then they also gave him some solid dribble sigs so i think for a six foot eight shooting guard he's probably a really good card to use haven't exactly used them yet but i think overall he will most likely be the ninth best new edition card at the number eight spot this is where we start getting to the dark matter cards it's going to be Dwayne wade i think he's a shooting a great shooting guard point guard six foot four with a six foot ten wingspan besides his jump shot this card is super super elite he just really gets held back by his jump shot only on quick timing and kind of being a slow release because if he had a better jump shot he would 1000% be a lot higher than number eight, but at my number seven spot is going to be the Galaxy Super Bowl Eddie Jones. I think he's going to be a really good shooting guard, man. He's six foot six with a six foot nine wingspan, really elite all around stats besides the 79 block. Like besides that, his defensive stats are really good. He's going to go into the basket with a 95 driving dunk. He can handle the ball really well. 93 ball handle, 95 speed with ball. And they gave him some amazing draw, amazing Hall of Fame playmaking badges, like quick first step, killer combos, hyper drive, handles for days, clamp breaker. He's also got Hall of Fame anchor, clamps, uh, interceptor, glove, 
which is really nice. He's got Hall of Fame Limitless, Deadeye, Agent 3, and does have a very solid jump shot. I mean, I would say it's a decent release. And then they gave him like the Trey Escape, which is super cool. Dane behind the back. He's got some good SIG, some good dunk packages. I think Eddie Jones could be an absolute beast at the shooting guard spot. At my number six spot, though, is going to be the Dark Matter Oscar Robertson. I mean, he's just another decent point guard. Like, he's better than Dwayne Wade, in my opinion. Is he a lot better? No, but I still think Oscar is a very solid point guard. He's 6'5", plays solid defense in game, and does have, you know, some good sigs and an okay jump shot. I'm at number 5 spot, though, is going to be the Dark Matter Chris Bosh. I think for his position and what he brings to the table, I would take Chris Bosh over Oscar. That is a close debate, in my opinion, but I do think Chris Bosh is a little bit better at his position, which is power forward or center. He's 6'11", with a 7'3", wingspan. A really good pick-and-pop card and also could play some very solid defense but mainly gonna be an elite three-point shooter i'm mean, at number four spot is gonna be the newer uh a newer uh, dark matter clyde drexler a really good rim runner now we did get terry so i don't think he's a top two shooting guard in the game anymore that's gonna be terry and kobe but after that i mean there's clyde there, there, uh, did i say terry and kobe i meant terry and t-mac Terry and T-Mac are going to be the two new best, uh, obviously the two best shooting guards. And then it's like Kobe, Clyde, Billy Knight, you know, as the next two, three guys. And I think Clyde is a really good rim runner, has a capable jump shot. And they did give him some pretty decent sigs with that Curry escape. And his movement should be really, really good. But I'm a number three spot. But very close, I would say, to not the lock-in cards, but definitely the best card from the new edition set. So from new edition one all the way to new edition five, not including the lock-ins, this is the best card to drop. And he just came out today, the Dark Matter James Worthy. He's a really good small 40, six foot nine with a seven foot wingspan. Gonna play elite defense, really good at going to the rim. And if you guys remember on his pink diamond, he has a very good jump shot. And they also gave him some good sigs and some pretty good dunk packages. But at the number two spot, I think it's gonna be pretty obvious the two new Dark Matter matter lock-ins Dikembe Mutombo an absolute beast at the power forward or center position should be a really nice backup center or starting center for a lot of people to run I know a lot of people do want to lock in for this card he's got a good jump shot pretty good dribble saves for Dikembe and we all know he's going to be such an elite defensive presence you know underneath the basket and overall should be a, a, a card that can somewhat contain a taco fall or a Yao Ming but at the number one spot I think it's very obvious it's going to be the dark matter Terry Dishinger and I would hope the card that you got to lock in 1.5 million MT for is the best card so i mean it does make sense why terry dishinger is the best but yeah he's number two shooting guard right behind t-mac and in my opinion he's not that much far behind t-mac because of the steve francis size up is a lot better than i think uh, t-mac has the is it the garland size up or oh no he has his own size up so yeah i think the i think the steve francis size up compared to the t-mac size up is going to make a pretty big difference they got the same escape i mean i think terry is not that much worse than the dark matter tracy mcgrady but let me know what you guys think about my ranking and also let me know who are your guys favorite new edition cards to drop in season five is it you know some of the diamonds the pink diamonds the opals it is it one of the new lock-in cards let me know all the type of stuff in the comment section down below but hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.